Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My channel actually has no theme, so let's just get into it. So for some context, about three years ago in fifth grade, our class had a project. During that project, I took a picture of a frog that looked so funny, I set it to my back background. Up until now, I forgot what this picture project was and where I got this picture. So then began the three-year search for the mythical frog picture that I would come to name Forg after I misspelled the word frog in a Google search. <laughs> During the first year, I knew where, like, the project where I got the image, but I didn't know that that's where the image came from. So I knew the project, but I forgot that's where the image came from. You know, hopefully, what I mean. But, like, I didn't really care about that image. It's like cool background funny. But as the year went on, I wanted to know where this mysterious image came from. I still had the original image on my Chromebook, but one day my Chromebook refused to launch, so I had the memory right wipe my Chromebook. Fortunately, the picture saved, but only as a background for my Chromebook. Now I could not have the image without heavily cropping out the bottom bar off of the picture. I was sad about this, but I was glad to still be able to have the image in any case. To save the image, I uploaded it to Dropbox, which proved to be useful. Sadly, the image you see in this video is the same image, but it is cropped slightly oddly. So I'm sorry you can't see uh, Frog's, uh, yeah, True Glory, um, the... It's fine, hopefully. Around the end of the first year I, um, of searching, I started my YouTube channel. My original character, I guess, you could say, is a frog. I've always liked frogs, and that's why I love my background so much, because it's a funny frog thing. Well, this year was just straightforward, but the next year is when things get interesting. <laughs> During year two, I learned about reverse image searching. One day, which is basically where you like put in an image in Google and it searches like documents in Google Images, see if they can find that image and if it's like in different resolutions or if it's in another image. But yeah, one day I decided to put Forg into the searcher, although nothing came of it out of it. Apparently, Forg is a visual art piece as classified by Google. Now, if you saw that image at the start of the video, you'll know that <laughs> it's not a visual art piece. To me, like, it's a visual art piece. <laughs> no, it's not. It's funny, but it's definitely nothing close to that. <sighs> but this year, I really wanted to find this image. I was so confused. Like, and I love this background, so, like, I didn't know where it came from at all. Uh, but the thing is, a full summer off clogged my mind, and I completely forgot about the totem pole project, which is the project where I got, like, the, uh, yeah, the original image from. So, like, I didn't know about this. I really got interested in finding the picture and search and search, but still nothing ever came. I was hoping that I would soon find the image as it was one of those things I just, I don't know, a curiosity of mine. Of course, during the end of the year, there were tests, and I forgot about Forg until the end of the fourth quarter, where I came across another picture of Forg saved in my backgrounds folder. It showed a little more, but nothing too crazy, and I still didn't think much of it. So the second year comes to an end. As New Year approaches, I wonder if I'll ever know where my friend, friend, background came from. The original image, I mean. It was the start of a new year uh, when I would misspell frog in my search bar and thus became the name Ford for my background. And it became a joke among my friends. Little did I know that eight days later, after New Year's, I'd find the original image. <laughs> On January 9th, 2019, one of my classmates asked me where my background was from, as he thought it was funny. I told him I didn't know, but something, I don't know how to explain it, dinged in my head. I remembered something about a project, and maybe like a totem pole. I didn't really remember a totem pole, 
but, like, I knew it was from a project, and, like, in fourth grade, we were studying stuff like totem poles and history. It was an introduction of history, kind of, like, I don't really know. Did I say fourth grade? I meant fifth grade. But, so, I decided to search up, um totem pole project in my google slides to no avail then i searched totem pole and a slide popped up i clicked on the slide and after going down a few images i found it the original image that housed the mythical the legend fog <laughs> but all jokes aside guys like <laughs> i was just so actual hat actually happy my question had been answered where did he come from where did he go i think his name was foggia joe of course i'm writing the script on the day i found Fog and hope to upload this video the day after and i'm just so excited to share this weird little piece of my life and how much fun a simple mystery can be so if you, i hope you enjoyed this video if you did, drop a like and subscribe and comment your thoughts on this video and my background of a fog. Yay.